Hello friends. We've been thinking about this big question, what makes music? And we've come up with some great ideas. Instruments that make music, people who make music, animals, and even foods that make music. But I feel like there's something that we're still missing. So I called my friend Mr. S, who's a music teacher in Milwaukee. Have you ever been to Milwaukee? He had an idea for us about how trains even make music and have not just made music, but inspired people to want to make music that sounds like them. Let's hear from Mr. S about his thoughts about what makes music. So as you listen carefully, you can hear the clickety-clack in the song September in Seattle by Sean Mullins. September in Seattle Waiting on a train You can also hear the train whistle in the piano of Freight Train Boogie. Amazing that you can hear the sound of the trains in the music. Hmm. Did you also notice there was a train on that track that I think I've seen before? I think that was the Rock Island Line. Is that right, Mr. S? Why, yes, it is. I got it when I was a kid. It's pulling the train today in my garden railroad. The Rock Island was a railroad that ran from Chicago, Illinois, through Rock Island, Illinois, and Davenport, Iowa, down to New Orleans, Louisiana. It was famous for its rocket passenger trains back in the 1950s and 60s. It's what we call a fallen flag, as it is no longer around. Though, you might occasionally see a light blue freight car with a big R on it still rolling by. Wow. I'm so glad we reached out to you, Mr. S, and thank you for your thoughts about what makes music. You know, sometimes when you have a friend and you ask them a question, you'll hear something that you may never have thought of yourself. It's good to hear from your friends about what they think. Well, I hope you'll join me in our next video where we'll sing the Rock Island line together. See you there.